Arthur and the Tiger by Sophie Beer. Let's go on to it. Perched on the edge of a smoggy city was a happy circus. It was all full of brave and bold people. The acrobat could soar through the air like an eagle. The strong man could balance a car in one finger. The jugglers could breathe fire like dragons. But the ringmaster's son, Arthur, was not strong at all. Let's find out. He had tried to learn all kinds of daring circus tricks. But each one frightened him more than the last. He would rather just have a picnic and tea with his friends. One day, Arthur heard news so alarming that that he, that his head that his toes curled in fright and his hair stood upright. The circus was getting a tiger. Who will be the tiger tamer? Said, 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 said Arthur. Funny you should. They must be very brave. Funny you should say so. Said the said the said the said the ringmaster. Because the tiger tamer will be. Ooh, who's going to be? You! At night, Arthur did not sleep a wink at night. He could picture the tiger prowling and growling, biting and yowling. some fangs and mean glory glare. And for once Arthur was not the only one who was afraid. The strong man shivered, the jugglers jittered, and the acrobat trembled so much on the high wire that she tumbled into her net. Oh, that's Soon the people in the, in the smoggy city found out that the tiger was coming. They'll gobble us and crunch our bones for lunch. They wailed, they scurried about, com comparing rumours. But the more they talked about the type, the more terrified they became. Even the tabby cats, who looked a bit tigerish, were given a hard time. day the tiger arrived, the citizens of the smoggy city stomped and shouted. The strong man, the jugglers, the acrobat, and even the ringmaster did not look brave at all. Oh, the ringmaster used to be brave. Arthur 
could see the tiger's cage far bigger than he dreamed and he heard faint growling from his wolf from within oh is the tiger gonna be scary or not with a great crack the cage fell open and out the tiger stalked. Huge and hulking, yelling and growling, foul and fearsome, until the tiger spotted one on one of Arthur's friends. A mouse! Arthur watched the tiger's toes curl up in fright and his fur stand upright. Could it be? Was the tiger as big a scaredy cat as Arthur himself? Ooh, what's going to happen? Arthur plucked up all the bravery th thumping through his little body and held up a trembling hand to, a, to the tiger. The golden eyes glowing tail swishing the tiger lifted his magnificent head and nuzzled Arthur's hand in a friendly greeting, mewing happy, happily like the engine of a rusty, dusty car. Oh, that's not nice, is it? It is. It'll trump him, cried one. It'll gobble him, shrieked another. Oh, shush, said the ringmaster. One starry night in spring, the people of the smuggy city and the strongman and the jugglers and the acrobat were very proud. Ringmaster were very proud. Ringmaster gathered at a little circus to watch the special new show. mouths hung open and their eyes popped as they watched. There was Arthur, the, who had never been brave enough, leading the scar shy and sleek. Graceful and With a picnic <coughs> and a cup of tea. And that's the end of the book. Can you realize the message of the of the of the of the from the author? I can. So what will author do when a terrifying tiger joins the circus? Hope you liked it. Bye.